Dani se cuela y yo ni muy hermoso. Mire, 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 pasa, se apaga. What's up guys, this video is gonna be about things that might shock people and Americans when they come to Colombia. Uh, one of the things we people riding on a motorcycle, sometimes with uh, our kid is as young as four years old in the front and sometimes in the middle holding a baby. But um, they're doing what they have to do. So when I first saw that, I was like, wow. But then I experienced it myself and I'm like, well, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta go. We, uh, Sometimes me and the wife and Santi and uh, like the church isn't too far away and we'll take off and it just, you know, I, of course, being a man, I feel weird. My wife is short and got me on the back and Santi in handling this motorcycle, with, <laughs> it looks really weird. Um, you, you've seen the videos. One of the other things you'll see women in high heels <laughs> uh, driving their motorcycles too. So. Uh, they, they do what they got to do out here, so, uh, you know, I, you got to respect that. Um, another thing that I think Americans would have a hard time getting used to, there's you no know, drive through restaurants. I've seen some of the American restaurants. We got them here in uh, Ibar Day, like McDonald's and Kentucky Fried Chicken, Papa John's. I've, I've seen a Burger King in Bogota. Two restaurants I think of when I'm like, what would really like just make a killing in Colombia? There's like not the best Chinese food here. I was thinking a Panda Express would go crazy here. It would just be really busy. But the other thing is White Castle because it's something so simple and easy and you have chicken here. The people that cook the chicken like on the side of the streets, they have really good chicken. They have restaurants that are like, to me, better than most of the restaurants in the United States with the chicken, the fried chicken. Uh, you've seen in other videos, I, I really appreciate the gym equipment that they have. It's not that I really use it or anything, but I'm just like, wow, I do see people using that gym equipment where they're old or, or young working out. You know, they could put money into different things and they decide to help the community with that. And I, it's at a lot of different parts. So I really think it's cool. People might ask about the water in Colombia. I have adjusted to the water. My wife says she just gave me a little bit at a time. And uh, there's other cities where there's not a problem with the water, but uh, she said here it could be. So she was careful with me with how she introduced me to the water. We have a water filter that didn't cost too much money that lasts a really long time. So that's another thing. Um, I mean, when I was in Las Vegas, I didn't drink the water either because I'm from Michigan. <laughs> that's good water in Michigan. And then you go to Las Vegas and the tap water is like, ah. So you've seen the videos we eat out quite a bit because none of these restaurants really cost over $10. Sometimes it's, it's less like $5 for both of us. And if we go to like a gourmet restaurant, maybe like $15 to $20. It's just amazing. Um, but my wife does cook. She's really, really good. I introduced her to a couple things that I like, but I'm gonna show you some of the food that my wife cooks. She doesn't cook like all the time normal Colombian food, but when she does, she she cooks everything with a lot of love and it, it turns out good. In the kitchen, there's no garbage disposal in the um, kitchens that I've seen. Which leads me to the next point because people would be really surprised at how cheap the housing is here. I don't think most people would try to live in the cheaper neighborhoods because you can get a two bedroom house here and rent it for about $100 and e-bike game. I don't think you can probably do the same in a safe neighborhood. Uh, Bogota or Medellin, I'm not sure, but you guys would have to tell me, those who've been to Medellin or Bogota, like how cheap these gone are people that know of neighborhoods, how cheap it'd be about being in like the best but not in a dangerous neighborhood. So those neighborhoods, sometimes the water shuts off and it can be for a few days and the electricity goes out. So I'm not in one of those neighborhoods. It's pretty good here with the power and everything. These lavadores, uh, it's a washing machine, is a business that these guys bring on a motorcycle to your house. If you need to rent a washing machine, this is it's not, they're old, but they work and it's only $3, so you don't need to buy one or try to bring one with you. There are 
more bug and, and you gotta get used to that a little bit. You can try to wipe them out all you can. They just keep coming back. It's just like, <laughs> there's a different type of beast here, like an ants. I mean, I, I had ants and problems in Las Vegas um, and, you know, kept fighting the battle. But, you know, the ants just keep coming back. They never die. They never die. It's just something that God has uh, to remind us. You should be working because these ants are working. That's just how I see it because it's really... No, no, I can't understand. I always see them working and they're carrying stuff like five times bigger than them and they're carrying like animals. I mean, not animals. They're carrying bugs that are like 10 times bigger and they team up and they carry these bugs to, to do whatever they're going to do with them. I, I mean, I, I have respect for them, but you know, I, I wipe them out when I can. But you know, I, I understand that they, they're not going nowhere. So you got to understand that too. If you come to Columbia, just respect the ants. Uh, of course, there's more dogs in the street, there's more, uh, everybody's got pets, but there's still a lot of dogs in the street there, they kind of let them roam, and they, they know where to go, the, the crazy thing is, you'll see them in the street, and you don't see them get hit, hit, I mean, I've seen like one accident with a dog, and the dog probably didn't survive, but most of the people drive carefully enough to not hit the dogs and they just go out in the middle of the street and know that a car is not going to hit them. It's just crazy. You always keep this window open because the air is fresh and of course with the light, you know, the bugs come in and I do have a weapon that I use that I really love. I'm going to introduce you to, you know, this is my Ludium Q36 Explosive Space Modulator. Flies and mats and stuff like that. And some other things <laughs> might come flying through when the window's open. I don't even know what they are sometimes. They get whacked with this. Let's go see if we can find something. This is way too fun. I'm in the bathroom. There's always these little bugs. They just like sit in the bathroom. They just wake the dying. And I, I don't know. I feel bad, but sometimes I just gotta get up. <laughs> Uh, there's not a lot in here, but sometimes there's like two or three. And I have a field day killing these things. <laughs> and that's about it for this one, guys. You know, I like to throw something in at the end, so you you might watch to the end. But I thank you for watching. Take care until next time. Colombia.